guys, so today's video is going to be a updated what's on my iPhone video. You guys are always asking me to do an updated one, so I thought it was about time that I sat down and I filmed one. I still have my iPhone 5S. The case that I have on at the moment is a skinny dip one with all of these gorgeous gem colours. I think it's so nice and summery. But anyway, I will show you what's on here. So this is my current lock screen. It is a picture of a smoothie and some berries because I'm obsessed with smoothies at the moment. This is what my home screen looks like. I just want to note that I don't have that many apps due to the fact that I've got thousands of photos on my phone and I do need to go and delete a lot of them. But anyway, I shall take you through my home screen. So at the bottom, I've just got green, blue, green, blue. I've got my messages down the bottom. Then I've got my emails, then calls, and then Safari. These are probably my most used ones, and I think that's why they're down the bottom. So let's start from the top. First up, we've got not very exciting ones. So we've got the calendar, my contact, my phone and then photos is where it gets interesting because as you can see I've got over 4,000 photos and this is what's taking up all of my memory at the moment so I really do need to have a phone clear out but yeah I literally just take photos of everything and screenshot everything so yeah that's why I've got so many photos and then we've got my iTunes I don't tend to actually listen to too much music on my phone I think I need a good pair of headphones because I really should when I'm like on the train or something but as you guys know my favorite band is Daughter I absolutely love their music so I've got a lot of tracks from them on there and then we have maps just standard iPhone app then FaceTime I love FaceTiming people then my app store then weather and I just have my utilities so I've got just you know the standard clock and calculator and stuff in there I also have my countdown app in there which I write things I haven't actually written in it for a while so I just write things that are coming up to look forward to in there and then yeah more utilities on there which I don't really use and then I have my notes settings that's just boring you guys all know that my fitness pal which is a great app for tracking sort of your daily intake and you can set like fitness goals and like you can track what exercise you've been doing and stuff then I've got my Twitter if you're not already following me on Twitter my name is the Maddie Bruce, just the same as my YouTube name on there. As you can see, my header is the same as my lock screen, and I do tend to tweet quite a lot, and I follow quite a few of you guys, so do tweet me, and I might just follow you back. Then we have my WhatsApp, which I always use to talk in like group chats and stuff, and to talk to my friends who don't have iPhones. And then my love, Instagram. My name on here is Maddie underscore Bruce if you don't already follow me. I literally post so much. You guys probably get annoyed with me. I've got loads of photos on there of my recent trip to London where me and my friend Elena stayed in the most amazing suite. So yeah, I've just got my general like life pictures on there. Then going down to the bottom, I have my Snapchat. And I try and do stories as often as I can. Oh, there you go, you can see my background. So my name on there is Maddie Brucey with a Y. And you guys can follow me and see what I'm up to. And then we have Depop, which I've got a bit of a love-hate relationship with at the moment. I do sell a lot of my clothes on there, but I've had a lot of problems with the app. My name on there is the same as my Twitter. It's the Maddie Bruce. And then we have Visco Cam, which if you're wondering, this is what I use to edit my photos for Instagram on. Everyone always asks me. I'm not going to talk you through exactly how I edit them and then I have the Tagster app which is a social networking app but it's so good because you can link all your social media to this app but what's great about it is that you don't actually need followers to sort of interact with people on here basically the idea is that it's an app based on interest so you upload a picture and you use like hashtags and then people can look at all the hashtags and then you can browse them and then you can scroll through this one for example is the 20 
21st hashtag you can upload videos there's filters on there like there is on Instagram and stuff my name on there is the Maddie Bruce and I've actually uploaded some exclusive content which you can go and see if you download the Tagster app. So, moving on to the next page, which is pretty bare. First of all, I have my photo editing apps, which is probably like my busiest folder, and even then it's got like four apps in it. So I've got Wittagram, which is the one that gives you sort of the white borders on the photos. Then Afterlight, which I absolutely love. On this app, you can, let's just use an example of a photo. Here's one of a boost I had yesterday so with this what I love doing is putting the light leaks on it and it gives the picture some really nice colors and then I have Facetune which is an amazing app for just sort of airbrushing any blemishes that you might have and then I've got Insta Collage which is what I use if I want like two photos in one or something and then moving on to the next one which is social I wouldn't really say this is social but that's what it's kind of named it so I have my followers so I can track exactly how many followers I have and like you can see who's unfollowed you and stuff that's really useful and then I have this game word chums which my friend Elena got me into it's basically like Scrabble and you can play it with your friends if they have the app as well and you can also play it against like the computer so yeah I've just been sat on this for ages it's actually pretty good fun and then the final folder is just random stuff I'm actually testing out this app feels at the moment which is a really cool upcoming app I will let you guys know more about that when it actually comes out but basically feels are in association with storm models and it's all to do with like modeling and being scouted and stuff on the street and you can upload your pictures to there and then I have uber for when I'm in London and I don't want to get the tube that is pretty much all that I have on my iPhone. Also, my background, in case you're wondering, is just some lights. I actually put this picture up on Instagram. It was just in a River Island store on Oxford Street. And I just thought the chandeliers look pretty. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you click the subscribe button down below. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.